so welcome you all so today we are going to discuss about one of the interesting topic as well so it's which is known as infix to prefix conversion so this time we are going to study using stack in the previous lecture we have already discussed about how can you convert one infix expression to a postfix expression and we have did explain you the all the detailed steps about this particular lecture so if you have not gone through that video please go through it because we have explained it in extremely well okay and if you are new to this particular channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and share with your friends as well okay so without wasting time so let's start with the this particular thing so this is actually the exactly the similar algorithm that we have discussed in the previous algorithm that is infix to postfix so that's why i will recommend you if you have not gone through the infix to postfix algorithm just to go through it because if you understand that algorithm very well then it is a matter of 2 minutes to understand this algorithm if you have understand one algorithm that is infix to postfix if you have not understand so then just go th go back and just try to understand that particular algorithm okay so this algorithm the steps are almost similar so i will just try to cover it quickly because i am assuming that you know how can i convert an express infix expression to a postfix expression so let's go through but still let's go through this step by step and i will take this i will take an example and we will try to understand the complete procedure don't worry if you have not also know the infix to postfix okay so let's start with the first one so what is the concept behind this so given a infix expression we can take any infix expression so let's take an example okay so suppose i am taking a star b plus c star d okay so we also know we also know how can i convert an infix to a prefix operation so that also we have already discussed but without using any algorithm we know that or without using the stack we know that so how can i do that so i will just take this one here then this one here and this one here so if i'll write it down so then star ab so this will be star ab because star will go to the prefix so this will star ab and this will be suppose this will be like a single term so plus let it be like this and star cd okay so this is you can take as x this is y so x plus y will be plus xy right so that's the entry so which will be then plus star ab and then star cd so this is going to be the prefix operation or prefix prefix of given infix operation so we we'll, we know this one using this particular technique but now we will see the algorithm how can i write an algorithm which will convert this particular infix into a into a prefix expression so this is the algorithm just think about how can we do using stack so that's the main thing right so what is the thing is so what we are doing we are if, if you remember in in the in the infix to postfix we are scanning the symbol from left to right if a operator is coming then we are doing something if a operand is coming then we are doing something if a left parenthesis is coming then we are doing something if a right parenthesis is coming then we are doing something so there are four kinds of thing there is or, or there is a possibility of four things in an expression right so that we have already discussed that we have already discussed sorry guys yeah that we have already discussed okay so in that case so let's start with this particular example so which i have mentioned right so let me start with this okay so let me start with this particular example a star b okay plus c star d okay so now you tell me so what are the steps i am going to tell you so steps is very similar to infix to postfix i am repeating that statement again and again but there is a little bit difference so what is the difference infix to postfix we are scanning the symbols from left to right but in this case you will need to scan this one from right to left instead of left to right you will scan from left to right okay so then what will be the situation there will be the same four conditions while scanning any expression any expression so what are the given possibilities or what are the possible symbol will came across while you are scanning from right to left or left to right any given expression so there will be either a operand okay so either either a yeah, operand okay operand oppo operand okay operand okay or a left parenthesis or a right parenthesis if you are coming this way or a left parenthesis or a operator okay so these are the four possible things that will come in your way while you are scanning any particular given expression 
so you need to understand what are the things you should do with each of the symbol okay so that's what we will discuss so if a operant is coming so i will simply process it okay i will simply process it or print it okay i will simply print it i don't need to do anything i don't need to insert it into the stack or do something i need to print it okay and if a right parenthesis is coming so in if a right parenthesis is coming then i will push it into the stack then push it push it into the stack push it means push it into the stack okay so then if a left parenthesis is coming so what we will do we will repetitively pop until a left sorry until a right parenthesis is coming and we will discard this right parenthesis okay so in in a small word i can write so repetitively repetitively pop pop until until a left parenthesis found okay so that's what we need to do okay if a left parenthesis is coming then i will keep on repeating okay or keep on popping and i will print it obviously what do you mean by pop pop means we will pop it and print it until which point until i found a right parenthesis and what i will do that that uh, right parenthesis i will discard it okay so that's what i need to do this is the important step actually so where you will see this is a important step so if a, if a operator is coming so you will keep on repeatedly pop until a lower priority is found in the top of the stack so if the stack contain a lower priority until you find a lower priority you will keep on popping so that is that's the important okay so until you find a lower priority i'll give a small example suppose plus is there okay suppose plus is there and star is coming star is coming so whether it found a lower priority yes it found a lower priority so then no need to pop it okay no need to pop it and push it but think about the reverse situation suppose star is there or star okay star is there already star is there and plus is coming okay so then whether this is a lower priority whether this is a lower priority operator no right so then it will pop this one and now the stack is empty so if will pop this now the stack is empty so now what i need to do i will simply push it okay so this step is very important if a operator is then repetitively pop the operators and print them until a lower priority operator is found or the stack is empty so that's the importance okay so and what after that what you need to do you need to push this one plus into the stack if such then push the current operator so that's all that's all we need to do and finally once we are done if the stack contains something then pop them and print them in a reverse order so that we need to discuss okay so this is the overall overall pictures that i just wanted to mention but yes let's take this particular example and whatever we have discussed so let's try to implement that that as well okay so let's start with that particular example so what we have already discussed well, that is a plus b sorry a star b plus c star d okay so i'll do the steps okay so steps so step 1 okay step 1 step 1 what is the symbol i am encountering encountering so that is right parenthesis okay so that's what i am encountering right because this is a this is a we are doing a scanning from right to left so that's why right parenthesis if right parenthesis is coming if a right parenthesis is coming so what i need to do so what i need to do so what i need to do i need to simply push it into the stack right so that's what i need to do you, we can read this algorithm maybe before proceeding so let's read this whatever we have discussed here in the small steps it is written here scan the inputs from right to left okay we will scan from right to left and if a operand then print it so that's what we have also discussed if a operand print it right so then the third step is if a right parenthesis then push it into the stack so if a right parenthesis is coming then push it into the stack that's what also we have discussed so if if a left parenthesis so let's discuss about this particular step then we will go to this particular step if a left parenthesis is coming pop until a right parenthesis sorry so this should be right parenthesis actually a right parenthesis is not found and discard the right parenthesis okay so actually yeah so discard the right parenthesis so you will get a left parenthesis so yeah discard the right parenthesis so discard the right parenthesis so that's what we need to do and this is the important step if your operator is coming then repetitively pop the operators and print them until a lower priority if you don't understand what is a lower priority and all we have already discussed about the priority priority of different operators and their precedence and their associativity as well we have discussed in one of the video 
just go ahead and watch that particular video you will get a clarity what is a lower priority okay like just a simple like example plus is a lower priority than that of star or multiplication you can say okay and power is much more higher priority than that of the multiplication okay so lower priority operator is found or the stack is empty so then push the current operator so that's what we have discussed in case of operator operand okay uh, sorry operator then if the stack is not empty and this will this will in a loop right so you will continue this process if you will continue this process until the until you encounter or if you, you finish the scanning of the symbol that means you need to do this process for all the symbols so that's what you need to do and we, once you are done with this particular thing then we will go to the number six step which is if the stack is not empty after that if the stack contains some value then just pop everything and print it okay and the final thing is that whatever expression we have found just reverse that one just reverse that one that's what we need to do it why why we need to reverse because we have scanned it from right to left so that's why we are just reversing that one to get the actual expression okay so let's try to implement the same procedure using step by step approach okay let's step one so i started with this particular symbol which is right parenthesis and we know that if it is a right parenthesis so then we need to push it into this stack right so that's what we need to do then the step two then the step two step two is step two is step two is step two is which symbol so next symbol is d so if it is a d can you tell me can you tell me so what will be the answer or what will be the answer or what are the action i need to do so i need to perform the action just print it that means this will be the output so now d is in the output so what is stack will contain what then it will contain just the right parenthesis there is no change in the stack the stack structure will be also like this okay so now i will go to the step 3 step 3 means step 3 means what I, what is the symbol i am going to encounter in step 3 i am going to encounter star right i am going to encounter star if a star is an operator right so what it will check it will check if the stack contains any lower priority until lower priority found then it will keep on popping but there is no operator right so it is a symbol so sorry it is a bracket so then there is no comparison of the lower priority operator so then that's why so it is it is so it is going to it is going to push star into the into the into the into the stack so output will be d will be as it is but the stack now will contain bracket and then star okay so now the stack structure will be like this now let's go for the step four okay step four step four means the next symbol what is the next symbol can you tell me next symbol is c if c is a is a what it is operand right so if it is operand is coming then what do we need to do we need to simply print it right earlier it was d now there is a c so the output will be d and c what will be the stack structure there is no change so that's why the stack structure will remain same that means that means bracket and then star so that is going to remain as it is okay so that is going to remain as it is okay so now let us go to the next symbol next symbol is step 5 i can say step 5 so how many steps i will do number of symbols step type is a left parenthesis is coming so what will happen if a left parenthesis is coming if a left parenthesis is coming then until pop until a right parenthesis is found okay keep on popping until a right parenthesis is found and discard the right parenthesis that is also important step so let's understand so this is till there okay so i need to what i need to do that that this is a right parenthesis so i will keep on popping until a right parenthesis is found so i will pop star then star i will pop means i will print also then what i will do i will i will prop this bracket as well i will pop this right parenthesis I, I found a right parenthesis then i will stop whether i need to push left parenthesis no because i found a match right so there is nothing you need to do so just pop this so in this step what we are doing pop this here we popped it and discard this one okay and don't no need to push this particular bracket okay that also you need to discuss so that is the important step so in step five so let's go to the step six okay in this step six what is the symbol i am encountered so step six will be will be will be plus right so then i am getting a plus so then what will happen so it is a operator it will check the stack stack is currently empty so that means since we have already do, do all these things the stack is empty right so the stack is empty so no nothing uh, nothing need to be done right because we need to repetitively prop the operator print it until a lower priority is found or the stack is empty and the stack is empty right so th in that case we don't need to do anything right so what we need to do we need to just simply push the plus into the stack and the what will be, what about the output 
output is r j t s so this is star so that was whatever the output was there earlier so this is going to be remain as it is okay so that is step 6 so let's 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 do these steps all other steps here only okay so let's do all other steps here only so step step 7 okay step 7 step 7 means after plus what is coming after plus bracket is coming bracket means it is a right parenthesis so just push it into the stack so the output will be this is star is as, as it is so this is and this is going to plus and bracket okay then step 7 then step 8 8 means in 8 and I'm, I'm doing little bit faster but I hope you guys are understanding I will I'll, I'm encountering a B symbol B then if a symbol is coming which is the operands then I just simply print it right so what I will do DC star DC star okay DC star then B right so DC star then B right so B is coming okay so then the stack structure will be remain as it is so then ninth ninth step ninth step is an, another star is coming ninth step is star is coming okay star is coming so star is coming star will look into the stack and it will keep on popping until a less priority found but there is a bracket so it will just simply push the star right so then it will be dc star b okay dc star dc star b b okay and the stack will be stack will be pushed into the into the star so this will be looking like this then what about the tenth step in the tenth step i am encountering a symbol a right so after the star i am encountering the symbol a so what will happen so it will simply print it right so i am encountering a symbol a then what it will happen so it will simple print it right dc star b a right stack is as it is so stack is as it is okay stack is as it is okay so now i will go for the step 11 step 11 so in step 11 i am getting a left parenthesis i am getting a left parenthesis if a left parenthesis is coming repetitively pop until a right parenthesis is found how what is my stack structure stack structure is like this so i will pop this star and i will discard this so now what will happen so what will happen the output should be like this dc star b a then one star will come okay and the stack structure will be only plus because I have only already popped this star okay and this bracket is also discarded because a left parenthesis is also came now so that's why it is also discarded so this star contains plus so whether any other symbol exists no right so that means we are done till this particular point we are done till this particular step 5 okay step 5 we are done till this particular step 5 okay so we are done till this particular step 5 okay we are done till this particular step 5 right so till this particular step 5 okay so now the question is so we once we are done with the scanning so what we need to do if stack contain anything just pop this repetitively plop until the stack is empty in the step step 11 or step 12 so whatever the things if remaining in the stack whatever the things remaining in the stack just keep on popping okay so the output will be dc star b a star then this plus will come then this will be there okay so that is how it will come right so this is the output but whether we are done with this output no <laughs> sorry because this last step is still remaining so what, what does this last step says reverse this particular output to a to get a prefix so reverse this particular output so if i reverse it so how can i reverse it so plus will go here star will come here then a then b then star then c d so if you will compare with this output now so now we are done with this algorithm right we are done with this algorithm yes we are done with this algorithm we are done with this algorithm so what it will do so it will just try to match with this output i think it will match the star whatever we have found plus star a b star c d so if you will see so they are matching to each other that means whatever we have calculated previously and whatever we have calculated now using this particular step of algorithms so it is also matching that means we got this particular uh, got this particular uh, uh, so prefix expression by using this particular step right i hope you guys have understand the procedure just try to just try to understand this and there are two quick question i will be asking just try to find out just try to find out so that in the previous class we have discussed actually 3 plus 4 star 5 divided by 4 minus 3 so this is the infix for which we had calculated the postfix so I want you to do whatever the steps I did in this particular example. So just do the same thing and just try to solve this particular problem. 
so that is the assignment and the answer you can write it down in the comment section okay i will just go through it 3 plus 4 multiplication by 5 divided by 4 minus 3 just try to do this particular try to find the prefix and given this particular infix just try to find out the prefix of this particular expression so i think this that's all for today okay so we'll be discussing postfix evaluation most probably in the next lecture just stay tuned don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and share with your friends who can be benefited from this particular lecture thank you and have a good day thank you